I'm Linda Rodin, and I'm sitting here with Winky. Look at her. 75-year-old Linda Rodin is the epitome of minimalist chic. The former model, stylist, fashion editor, and now beauty entrepreneur is known for her silver hair, vibrant lipstick, and audacious eyeglass frames. Can you believe that Linda has worn the same pieces and the same denim size for, like, 40 years? Yes, we're not joking. The more interesting thing is that she doesn't get plastic surgery. She loves her natural beauty. And so do we. Timeless beauty. Whether longtime icons or newcomers, these models are gracing magazine covers, have up to several million followers on social networks, and walk the runways of the biggest luxury labels, all of which could be enough to stir envy in many of the 20, 30, or 40-year-old models. Seeing her Instagram, she models her designs, including a denim jacket, unconventionally paired with a wide tulle skirt, and a pearl-seated top with extravagantly flared denim trousers. Her image routinely crops up on Pinterest as well, as a distinctive figure in her signature updo and large black-rimmed shades. She is often called an icon, but shrugs off the label. But for most of us, she is just an icon. Skincare routine. I feel more honest looking my age. You know, I wouldn't have a facelift. I'm, I'm not into that. I never dyed my hair. To be honest, Linda doesn't use too many products on her skin. In the morning, she usually dampens her face with warm water and puts on the oil. In the evening, she focuses on cleansing her face and body and uses oil on her entire body. Um, I wake up in the morning, I rinse my face with warm water. Well, you must definitely remember to use sunscreen. Linda used to be someone who didn't care about sunscreen, but now this is an indispensable item in her bag. The degree of protection that sunscreen provides is directly related to the degree to which ultraviolet radiation is associated with the formation of skin cancer. If you use sun cream, the incidence of squamous cell carcinoma is reduced 40% over four years. Not just when working outdoors, she wears sunscreen every day, even if she's mostly indoors. Unless you live in a cave or submarine, you're still getting a hefty dose of the sun's rays through your windows and windshields. The fluorescent lights in our offices even produce some ultraviolet light. This is why wearing daily sunscreen is really important. Even on a cloudy day, the sun is still there. About 80% of the sun's rays still come through cloud cover and right onto your skin. So she is extra vigilant. Linda says sun exposure is a significant cause of an aged facial appearance. Using sunscreen every day helps her prevent signs of aging, including wrinkles, brown dots, and uneven pigmentation. Eating habit. Linda maintains very good eating habits. She eats the same thing every day. She eats organic romaine lettuce mixed with organic avocados and an organic hard-boiled egg. She has some kind of organic fish or salmon. It doesn't have to be organic. She's not a nut about it, but she does the best she can. She has really good Italian olive oil and coarse salt, and sometimes she'll have bread and cheese. And she always has two glasses of crisp white wine. Linda says, I don't love fruit, but I love vegetables. I eat fish, occasionally poultry, then meat once every six months. I didn't eat meat for 40 years, and now I'm back. I had vertigo, and the doctor said, eat some meat, and it fixed it. Linda is not too strict about her diet. She doesn't want to force herself into a regimen that's too harsh. If there are some delicious French fries, she eats them. She just tries to eat as much food as possible that is good for her body and absolutely does not touch junk food. Junk foods contain a lot of calories and a negligible amount of nutrients. They are loaded with ingredients such as sugars, saturated fats, and salt. They may contain harmful additives or byproducts that may emerge during their processing or cooking. Instead of snacking like the dishes above, Linda makes smarter choices 
She chooses nuts, berries, grilled vegetables, salads without sugary dressings, skimmed milk with granola, oatmeal, whole grain crackers, fruits, and lean proteins like grilled fish, tofu, or boiled eggs. She also drinks eight to 10 glasses of water daily to help control cravings. One tip is that she organizes her snacks strategically by placing unhealthy options out of sight and keeping healthier choices, like fruits and salads, easily accessible. Work well, sleep well. Would you believe me if I said Linda doesn't exercise too much? It sounds unbelievable, right, for a woman with such a fit body like that? Having a dog that needs regular exercise has motivated Linda to walk every day. She enjoys companionship. Another secret of Linda is sleep. That's what I always say, the same thing. I sleep a lot and I take good care of myself. I eat very well, I'm a healthy eater. I'm not an exercise person, so I don't have any regime for that. I think I just sleep well and eat well. I really think that's the key, for me anyway. Linda said that when she sleeps, she feels like the brain totally changes function. Good sleep helps her mentally stay healthier, helps her concentrate better, and be more creative at work. Never too old for a miniskirt. When Linda says this, it means don't let age create a barrier. Ms. Roden is aiming neither to recover her youth nor to live her life according to some outmoded precept of what is age appropriate. That just never occurred to me, she said. People have asked, do you feel bad that most women your age wouldn't or aren't able to wear these clothes? She said, I tell them, I'm just making clothes for me. If people like them, great. If they don't, that's fine too. Once more time to say, she really appreciates her natural beauty. Ms. Roden said, I never had a facelift. I never dyed my hair, and I wasn't a face of beauty. I always thought, well, this is what I look like. Her hair started turning gray when she was about 35, technically even earlier, but she was fortunate as it came in evenly. She never considered dyeing her hair, ever. Then, at the age of about 58, she realized she couldn't see well, so she needed glasses. Her signature look sort of found her rather than her finding it. But Linda has never let her age limit her. She said, I don't feel otherwise limited about the way I like to dress. She would argue that she is her own best model. Although Linda looks very young and trendy, she has never denied the fact that her age is increasing day by day. It is her confident, positive attitude when facing her age that helps her always cheerfully accept what comes. You have to get old, embrace it, and do the best you can. You can't try to be young forever. You know, she's living proof that getting older as a woman can and should invite more opportunities and experiences, not less, and that radiance and relevance have nothing at all to do with age. So. Those are her points. And now is your turn. Just be positive, be slay, and be proud of yourself. See you.